Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm doing some uh, work on a chainsaw, an old chainsaw that I've got. And uh, it's a uh, McCullough Mac 32. I've had this thing for like 20 years. But it never ran good, ever. But uh, I finally pulled all three of mine I've had out, I've had for over 20 years. Matter of fact, there's another one. I, yeah, I've made my kitchen table ish a workbench. So um, I've got this old Eager Beaver. And actually, I just took it apart again. But I've had it for, I bet it was in my garage for 15 years in pieces. I tore it apart years ago to work on it and never fixed it. And I found all the pieces and I got it all put back together. But now I'm working on this, this Eager Beaver 3200. I, I took it out uh, milling some wood the other day and I worked the crap out of it. But I noticed that the clutch wasn't working. And I noticed uh, whenever I rebuilt the carburetor and stuff and I'd start it that the chain would turn as I pulled it. But uh I knew something I figured something wasn't I knew something wasn't right. So what I've done um I took it apart and they've got so many freaking spacers in here that when you torqued it down to tighten the clutch up um it was tightening the clutch against the drum right here to where it wouldn't turn. So I've t I took it apart and I've piddled with it and cleaned it up and and uh, I have finally got it back figured out now. I got it back together what it should be. Um, I had to take one of the, they had too many spacers in this thing. So um, now I've got it, you know, where I can put it back together and. Uh, the clutch actually works properly so spin this thing down real quick and as you can see that 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 thing is spinning the way it should now before it wouldn't turn at all and there's a little bit of play in there that's probably why they done it whoever took this thing apart um, I don't know why they would take it apart to begin with but uh because it I mean everything in it's fine but it runs good i i do need to get a new cover for this because uh out there the other day i did melt a hole in this right here um what i had to do is take my dremel tool and dremel around this thing to get this cover off so i could see inside the piston to see if it was clean and then i finally uh, got some pliers got a hold of it and got it out um but i need to get another cover because that that's the spark arrestor and you know, it was just blowing hot air right straight on that thing, and it was, it just burned the fire out of it. So, I'm going to get that fixed and put back together, and uh, I'm going to order a new one of these. And I've got parts coming for the Eager Beaver, and uh, yeah, I finally got my Craftsman running prop pretty much properly. I took the carburetor back apart and cleaned it out again. For some reason, it was just full of dirt again, and I got a new filter and and. Uh, uh, lines and stuff on it because I put them on myself so and I but I looked in there and it's all still attached but I don't know why it was full of dirt so I blew it might must have been something in one of them ports uh whenever I was uh when I was working on it the first time but uh uh I blew it all out I took it completely apart this time which I didn't let do last time that was my my uh that was my mistake um but I blew it out all completely and that runs perfect and this one runs good now it never ran good before now it runs awesome the best one that i've owned so far has been that eager beaver and it's just a little bitty dinky thing but uh yeah i'm gonna start trying to do some uh milling mill my own wood with chainsaws but uh this one has the wrong chain on it i've figured that out today because i it was cutting crooked and i just couldn't figure it out so i looked on the numbers on the bottom of the chain and it is the wrong chain I mean, it was it stretched out anyway. It was too long. It was at the end of its adjustment, but I I looked at the bottom of it and it's it's not even the right chain that's supposed to be on there. So I'm gonna have this thing back together and running in no time. Well, it it runs. I'm gonna have have it all back like it's supposed to be. So, but anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. So uh, thank you. See you next time.